everyone and welcome to this introduction to my Python course. The course is named Champak Teaches Python. Obviously my name is Champak, that's me on the left top corner. I am based in Varanasi. I develop and teach software. I'm also a writer. I've written two books on Java and currently doing a book on Python. So without much more ado, let's get into the course. Why should you learn Python? The answer obviously, the top answer would be to get jobs. Python has jobs. Python programs are in high demand. In fact, Python is the most in-demand language today. Which software uses Python? Most popular softwares currently in the world use Python. YouTube, for example, famous video streaming site is built in Python. Dropbox, a cloud-based storage site is in Python. You must have used it. Google, famous search engine, uses Python for its searching, cataloging, NLP, natural language processing, big data, scrapping, crawling, and other requirements. Think about it. Then there are more. Instagram, the website uses Python, not the app. It's a picture sharing website of Facebook. You must have used it. BitTorrent, downloading big software. This file sharing software is built in Python. Reddit, uh, open community information sharing site, this is in Python. Yahoo Maps, Yahoo Maps is very good. It's better than Google Maps in certain categories. Try using it, it's built in Python. Other reasons for using Python, because it has great libraries and those libraries are free. Python itself is free. Python as a language is free and it's open source. You can see the source code. NumPy, numerical Python. You can use it for doing arithmetic, solving equations, and other many more things, solve matrices. It is built in Python. SciPy is mathematics, science, and engineering. It's, uh, it's coupled with NumPy, and it's a great tool for mathematics, science, engineering students. NLTK, the natural language toolkit, is a NLP natural language tool. NLP is natural language processing. NLP is used for analyzing natural languages. Maybe something like English, you can get the parts of a speech of a sentence. You can get synonyms, antonyms, roots of words. It's very useful. Python OpenCV, it's another great free library. The open source computer vision library is used for picture processing, video processing, face recognition, and writing recognition, and much more. You can use web cameras, mobile, mobile cameras, and all that using OpenCV. Matplotlib, I talked about it before. It's used for plotting graphs, lines, curves, mathematical analysis. We use it in NumPy and SciPy for giving output. Pandas is a data analysis library. It is used in conjunction with things like NLTK, NumPy, etc. Beautiful Soap this is a web scraping library through which you can download data from the web and get it into parts. Get the HTML, find out the headings, the images, and all sorts of things from there. Download them if you want. More features, Python is modular. Projects can be broken up into modules, developed by different programmers, and then combined into a final project. Python is interpreted. This means that we can debug as we write. It can also be compiled. Python supports GUI. You can develop Windows applications, apps using Python, and more importantly, you can create all this at runtime. It's dynamic GUI, and it's great. Python supports database connections. We will be covering connectivity with MySQL and MongoDB. One is SQL SQL based, MySQL is SQL based, and MongoDB is a non-SQL database. More reasons for learning Python. Some features of Python. It is object oriented. It supports classes, objects, inheritance, interfaces. Python is loosely coupled in the sense that you can add class members at runtime, remove them at runtime. 
get them at runtime. Python is dynamically typed. Variables take up the data type whose values are stored. Python supports exception handling in the modern way, the Java way you can call it. More reasons for learning Python. We have very powerful web frameworks. We'll be learning two of them, Flask and Django. Now, look over this once more. Python is modular, interpreted, supports GUI, Python supports database connections. It's object oriented, it's loosely coupled, dynamically typed, it supports exception handling, and it has great web frameworks. What you'll learn in this course, you'll learn the basics of Python, input, output, comparisons, if else, arithmetic operations, data types. Now, these are the most important things, remember this. Everything else can be learned, but if the base is not strong, you won't be able to do it. So, you need to be very serious about this. Then, Python loops, for while and problems on loops. We'll draw patterns, find factorials, and all the sort of things that we do. Python data structures, therefore, inbuilt data structures, lists, tuples, dictionaries, and sets. We'll be analyzing them, using them. File handling, saving data to, data to files and recovering data from those files. Then you'll learn web scraping. We'll download HTML pictures, etc., from a web URL, URL, analyze them, save them into files, and that sort of thing. We'll use Python for scientific and mathematical processes, purposes, use them, provide sample programs. Python pandas, we'll be learning it in fair detail. NLP, we'll do an introduction to NLTK. We'll process videos, use web camera, create videos, face recognition, etc. basic level. Run websites on Flask, run websites on Django. Now, all these things like NumPy, SciPy, Matplotly, Python Pandas, NLP. We'll be doing basic courses on this. And for people who want to go in further detail, you can join class, special classes on Python websites, that is using Django. And we will also have a separate course on machine learning. Now, that's not a part of this, this course. We'll be providing you an introduction to machine learning but if you want to go deeply into machine learning we'll have a different course on that now as a student i'll be expecting you to be attentive in class know that you did and submit all course work on time all assignments will be posted on the bulletin board on the class website my place to students, I'll trust you until you give me a reason to do otherwise. I'll respect you and work with you to solve problems. I'll promptly correct and offer feedback on your work. I'll work with you to meet self-learning goals. I'll offer extra help and on every assignment should you require them. Thanks for watching. And if you want to join, you can contact me at jumpersworld at gmail.com or on WhatsApp 919358743266. Thanks for watching. Thank you.